We are in Microsoft Windows 2008 and we've got a 2012 R2 Hyper-V set up and we're going to go ahead and launch that and we're going to install Windows 2012 R2. So we'll go ahead and double click on the screen at the bottom and now it shows the installation. This is a beta, so it's showing a beta fish. Just if you're wondering. Okay, so 2012 R2. We're going to click Next. Click Install Now. This was downloaded through MSDN. And we'll skip any parts where there's a long delay here. Okay, so we're going to accept the terms, click Next. We're going to choose a custom install, not an upgrade. And we're going to choose the 50 gigabyte drive that we've got here. And now it's going with the installation. Looks like we're just finishing up. It's got past the first three spots. We're on the installing update. All right, that took roughly 10 minutes on, with two gigabytes of RAM and an i5 processor. And now it's restarting. And now Windows is launching for the first time. We're now going through the adding devices. It's going through pretty quickly. All right, there was one more reboot, and now it's back up again. And we're going to go ahead and say OK to that the password must be changed. Definitely don't want to put in a blank password. Password's changed. All right, so now we're at a server configuration screen, and we're going to go ahead and put in the information that shows here. So we'll choose number one for the domain workgroup. We're just going to keep it blank. Number two, computer name. And we'll just call it Windows 2012 R2. And if we want to do that, we've got to restart the computer again. All right, it is done rebooting once again. We'll go ahead and click the button for inserting Control-Alt-Delete. Put in our password. It's preparing Windows. And let's see, we are going to, at this point, choose 14, exit to command line. So at this point we can go back into the settings for configuration or we can just go ahead and close it and now we're back at command line. So this is Windows 2012 R2. This is the server core installation and at this point we can run whatever commands we want. And you can see there is no GUI. It uses a lot less RAM and installs fairly quickly.